Greetings viewers, Eric the Car Guy here with Cylinder Head and uh, today's video is about measuring uh, valve spring installed height and valve seat size. The reason I'm going through this process is because I am uh, getting the camshaft together from comp cams and I'm also getting new valve springs for this cylinder head. I need to have that information so that I get valve springs that are the proper tension and the proper size for this application. First step is going to be to get the spring off of the cylinder head. There's a couple of different ways you can do that. Here's a valve spring compressor tool. This will work just fine. I also have this set here. Remove the valve spring. I gotta get my keepers back. With the valve spring removed, reinstall the retainer. So much easier without a spring in there. Make sure it's seated well. Now the area you're trying to measure is from where the spring sits up into the underside of the retainer here. That's the valve spring installed height. There's a special tool that does this that I don't have, and I really kind of can't justify that tool just for something like this. You might be able to rent or borrow one from the auto parts store, that may be a possibility. But I've come up with an idea using my calipers and a straight edge. And I'm going to take that straight edge and lay it right in that lip where the top of the spring will ride. And I want to make sure, one, that the valve is fully closed, so I want to make sure it's pulled all the way up, and I also want to make sure that my ruler is straight across like this, so that it's not up in any way. If I'm pushing on any one side, I won't get an accurate measurement. When you're doing the measurement, you don't want to measure from in inside here. You want to do your measurement from this little ridge there. And that's where I'm going to lay the ruler so that it fits flush up against the inside of that. Just like that. I don't want it to ride up or down. I want to get an accurate measurement straight across like that. And when I come down in with the telescoping part of my measuring tool, I want to make sure I contact the area where the spring actually comes into contact with the cylinder head down here. And I want to come as close to this edge as I can. I don't want to be in the inside edge. I want to be towards this outer edge. Slide it down until it comes into contact with my ruler. And I come out with about 186. And I'm going to do this in a couple of different locations. Oh, and if you want to know millimeters, that would be 47.45 millimeters. But do it in a couple of different locations just to verify. I'm doing it again here, and I come up with 186. So I'm really close each time I'm doing my measurement. 186. So right around 185, 186 is the installed height. You can actually take the valve out for this one. Hey, look, an intake valve. For this one, I'm also going to be using my calipers, and it would be great to be able to use them this way, but I can't get down inside the cylinder head. Since this valve spring sits on this inner portion here, that's what I'm going to be measuring. And since it's circular, I want to see if I can get just around the outside to where the measurement doesn't change. It looks like 1.40 works really well. And just to give additional information, I'm going to go to this outer edge here and do the same thing, but come where, where the measurement gets the largest. It's like 160. So 140 for the inside and 160 for the outside. Okay, we've measured this valve. Now, just for confirmation, I'm also going to measure this valve. And if you really want to get fancy, you can do all of them. Uh, it's not going to hurt anything to have all those numbers. But me, this was the intake. This is the exhaust. I just want to see what I got. 187. It's virtually identical. And that's good. I like to see things that are the same. 187. I'm going to check the seat diameter. It's like 140 again. And also 160. So they are the same. 
So if you need to get these specs for either purchasing valve springs or you're putting camshaft in and you need to know these specs also, this is a quick and easy way to do it. I use this caliper. As I said, they have special tools that you can either borrow from the auto parts store or you can purchase them as well. I'll put links in the description to additional information uh, that pertains to this stuff. In addition, if you have automotive questions, I'd ask you to head over to airatthecarguy.com. I'll also put a link in the description for that. Google+, Plus, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. If you wish to connect with me socially, be safe. Have fun. Stay dirty. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.